This because is unlawful. Ma'am, ma'am, he's running me over. No, I'm not. Ma'am, hurry, please hurry. Mike! 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 Yes, please hurry, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't know, and he's a lunatic, and he's videotaping me. Ma'am, please hurry! Mike! You are you're in you're in trouble. How you're so? going to jail. How so? You are going you're hurting me! How? You just ran off, ma'am, please hurry! He just ran off and he's still moving! Please, ma'am! Please hurry! Al Hilali stands accused of making false accusations and wasting police resources. Ben Fordham has this exclusive report. What you're about to see is quite extraordinary. Australia's most controversial Muslim cleric vandalises his own mosque. Then he calls in the police and tries to implicate an innocent man. But Sheikh Halali was caught in the act, busted by his own security camera. Do you know who the person was who, who broke in? No, no, I don't know. I'm concerned this, this, this that you are lying to me. I'm concerned no, you are lying no, to me. Are you, no. are you lying to me? You are lying. Our story starts last Friday, after Sheikh Halali had just delivered a stinging sermon about a group of young people in the mosque who he describes as the Taliban in Lakemba. He accuses young radicals of teaching jihad and burning an Australian flag. But the hot topic, after Friday prayers, is an act of vandalism that occurred at the mosque just four nights earlier. I've been told that you had to ring the police here on Monday night. Did you have to ring the police because there was some problem? A little problem and a little disease for some youth, for some of the people. It's interesting to note that it's election time at the mosque and leaders like Sheikh Halali and Mr Kassir from the Lebanese Muslim Association are facing a push for new leadership. So claims that a young hothead has vandalised the mosque is playing right into their hands. We cut our, we didn't need any bacteria in our centre. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, well, it's clear. Uh, we called the police for uh, for a little problem, but we have uh, fixed and everything is under control. But Sheikh Halali is hiding a secret, a secret that was caught on camera. Here's what really happened inside the mosque last Monday night. This is the official security footage. You can see the time and date at the bottom of your screen. Watch the four young men who were the last to leave upstairs. The final thing they do is lock the door. It's 10.28 in the evening and the group of young men has now left. Upstairs is empty and the door downstairs is locked. And nine minutes later, Sheikh Halali appears. The Sheikh tries to open the door. He fiddles with the lock and takes a look around the corridor. When he presses his palm against the door, you can see it bend in at the top. Sheikh Halali walks away from the door and another nine minutes go by. The security camera works on a motion sensor, so it only records when there's action. Watch what happens next.
The sheikh busts open the door with a flying kick. He pulls the door over and walks away. Sheikh Halali knows he's vandalised the mosque. And if that's not bad enough, things are about to get a whole lot worse. Because next, Sheikh Halali calls in the law. Sheikh Halali leads police to the door. The officer inspects the damage. The sheikh looks at his watch. It's been 15 minutes since he kicked the door in. The general duties officer is led upstairs for a look around. Later, the duty officer arrives from Campsie Police Station. He's the man with four stars on his shoulder. An investigation is now underway, and Sheikh Halali and his crew are assisting police with their inquiries. They're so helpful that they come up with the name of a suspect. And no, it ain't the Sheikh. The so-called suspect was one of the young men who locked the door on Monday night. By Tuesday morning, he was being quizzed by police about his alleged involvement and denied any knowledge. Back at the mosque, forensics were dusting the door for fingerprints. On Wednesday, the alleged suspect went to the police station and told them he thought he was being set up. That same day, Sheikh Halali told police there was no reason for the investigation to continue. He had identified the culprit and was dealing with the matter internally. Well, I think that needs to be seriously investigated, both inside the mosque and by the police. You can't lodge a false claim against somebody. It's a very grave offence. Like the rest of us, journalist Paul Sheehan has followed the thrills and spills of Sheikh Halali, from questioning heavy jail sentences handed down to gang rapists to claiming Muslims are more entitled to Australia than those with convict heritage. Will you resign? No and no and no. But his most disgraceful effort was when he warned that women who wear suggestive clothing could be provoking sexual attacks, comparing them to uncovered meat. With Sheikh Halali, you've got a top 40, a hit parade of mistakes, exaggerations, oh, I was quoted out of contact. He's been very provocative for a very long time. And the Australian public has basically given up on him. And I'm just wondering about the Muslim community. Uh, do they think he accurately reflects them? Yesterday, I returned to the mosque to show Sheikh Halali the footage. At 10.46, Yes. You kick the door in. Yes, Lord, what happened? His excuse sounds familiar. Some trick. Some trick? Uh, some trick. Apparently, it's all a giant conspiracy. Shake. What is a new door? Shake. Uh. You broke the door. No, 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 nothing. Shake, you broke the door. That we allow a, 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 a sure and the trick in this film. Do you know what I'm concerned about? No. I, I'm concerned this, this, this that you trick. are lying to me. I'm concerned no. you are lying no. to me. Are you, no. are you lying to me? You are lying. Are this is record this camera. Are you this lying? This film. And in a complete about face, a short time ago, we received a letter from the Sheikh's lawyer saying, quote, what he did do was to kick open a door to the mosque that had already been damaged by others in order to gain entry to it, unquote.